how to use Pinterest with Redbubble. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Redbubble with Pinterest. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, I'm on my business hub, as you can see right here, not a lot of stuff going on over here, but that's okay. What you want to do is basically click on create, right? You need to create a pin. You click on create, and it's going to take you right over here where you create your pin. So let me just close that. There we go. Now over here, we're going to upload our sticker. So you can find that over here. So these are some of the works that I have created and I would like to right. So this is the sticker that I created. I do want to share it. So what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and so I'll just simply download the image right here save it and what i will do is i will go over here and create it upload my design i have a bunch of different designs as well so don't worry about that and over here we'll add in the title it's called the whatever sticker there we go the whatever sticker and then you can add in the description over here and then you can add in a destination link to this sticker we could also promote this one as well. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. We're going to go ahead and promote this one. So let me just go ahead and change this to this one right here. And also we'll just select a image if we want right here. And then, or actually I'm just going to choose this one. And then we can also choose different boards right here. You know, we could create a new board right here and I'm going to call it and then just simply click on create and then you can tell everyone about your sticker like so we could add a bunch of different things to it and then we could just simply click on publish. All right. And we can add or create a carousel and we can add other images as well other products other stickers as well. So now whenever someone comes over here they will click on the link right here the whatever sticker and they will be able to buy the sticker right here we can promote it as well now another thing that i do recommend is going and making your stickers visually pleasing so for example you could come over here onto canva and this is a free site as well so you can come over here and browse different designs so we're going to come over here and we'll search for pinterest pins right here as you can see we have carousel ad or pin you depends on what you want we'll go with pin for now uh you could go with the carousel as well it depends on you then you can find different pins right here right uh you could even search for it as well we'll click on create a blank canvas and choose some one of these templates so let's go ahead and search for stickers right here if we search for stickers cute stickers then we have these bunch of different options like this one right here and like this one as well and we got a bunch of other ones as well so you could just simply go ahead and add it right here like this one so pretty simple just line up all of your stickers right here so i do have four stickers so i do have these four stickers right here uh, this one this one this one and this one we could just simply go ahead and add them right over here we're going to upload them first right there we go we're uploading it and then we'll go ahead and replace these stickers with our own ones and we should be good to go so let's go ahead and actually delete this one this one this one and we'll just simply paste it right over here it's actually quite large so we'll just minimize the size like so and this one as well this one's also pretty big well this one was supposed to be a t-shirt design but you know whatever and we have the whatever sticker right here and we'll go ahead and lower that design as well and we could turn it over here like so you don't have to be asymmetrical or anything and we'll just delete this and pull in our little skull over here not little quite large but yeah generally speaking this is how it should be so something like this you know would look pretty cool now change the background color to a little bit lighter color you know what i mean or a darker gray type of color so that you know your stickers are highlighted like so and also like this one and also maybe change up the heading of over here and you could add and down below you could add one to buy them visit my shop if you like them visit my shop or 
visit my shop over here and then you can add the link right here pointing it to the pinterest so if we come over here like this pin right here and our link is right above it so we could just simply click or add like our arrow over here visit the link over here so it looks pretty cool and it will look really really good so something like that right so over here we'll first go ahead and change some of these up we'll say like so and then we'll go into elements and we'll go ahead and select arrow and we will select an arrow that isn't too big or isn't too small maybe if we can find it over here like this one right here we'll slowly and you know put it a little bit right here and like so we'll put it right over here this would be indicating that you know our new sticker collection is available here right over here where the link would be and if we want to download it we'll just simply click on download right and we will download it as a gif right here and we'll click on download wait for it to be downloaded there we go it is now downloaded now if we come over here onto pinterest right we click on create and create a pin and we just simply drag and drop our new you know feature we could tag products as well we can click over here we can add different product links right here you can add urls over here so this was one of my products let me go back over here and click over here and click on view we could just simply copy the link of this one come back over here enter it over here click on next and we have a bunch of different options we could just simply choose it right here so we'll just choose this one and click on save product there we go it is now linked click on done there you go one product we can add our title over here new sticker collection and then down below we'll just add a destination link and click on publish i mean this is my claimed website but i don't know why that's telling me but you get the idea right you just simply publish it and you should be good to go after that you just simply promote it run ads and just sit back relax and enjoy the sales so that is how you do it that is how you use pinterest with redbubble so having said that that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to help you out in any way i can as soon as possible and also be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video so don't worry about it so having said that thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time take care and goodbye